There is a serious side to this. Well, this issue of where creativity comes from is, uh, I, I share your fascination with it. Um, I don't think we understand very much about it. I, my practice is uh, merely to, uh, to respect my unconscious mind, who uh, often is much wiser than, than the conscious part of me, and, uh, and pay attention to what it says. Uh, uh, in fact, I think this is connected with that, that delicate tension uh, at the heart of the scientific method I talked about before. The unconscious mind proposes a range of possibility, uh, of possibilities, and the conscious mind disposes, that is, compares those ideas with uh, the real world, checks for internal inconsistencies, uh, and so on. I think the creative process is a partnership uh, between a uh, conscious and an unconscious part of our, of our minds. At least, uh, that's how it seems to me. I'd like to leave the last word on creativity, in fact, with uh, Professor Stephen Hawking. Just whenever you're ready, sir. I am just curious. I want to find out how things work. I follow my nose. One thing leads to another, and I don't know what I will find next. Now I think I would like to retreat a little bit into poetry myself because it's nearly 150 years ago since Matthew Arnold wrote his splendid poem, The Future. But what was before us we know not, and we know not what will succeed. Well, perhaps if Professor Hawking's magnificent vision and curiosity is realized, we'll have proved Matthew Arnold wrong before the 150 years are up. Gentlemen, to all of you, to Professor Stephen Hawking, to Dr. Arthur C. Clarke, to you, Carl Sagan in America, our warmest thanks to all three of you, and to all of you watching, good night.